everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be doing lab 8-1, which is create a horizontal and vertical analysis using XBRL data. In this lab, we will identify questions related to the income statement, master the data, perform an analysis of the financial data, and address and refine my results or your results. So, uh, Financial statement analysis frequently involve identifying relationship between specific pieces of data. So we want to see how financial data have changed over time and how the comp composition has changed. So in order to do that, we're gonna go ahead and create a dynamic spreadsheet. And um, in order to begin this process, I'm gonna go ahead and log into Google Sheets. So um, for Google Sheets here, And I'm gonna go ahead and log into my personal account right here. So I'll put in my, I'll go ahead and log in and I'll present the video. Okay, so now I'm gonna open a blank sheet. And I'm gonna go ahead and call this XBRL common, XBRL common. In the tool section, I'm going to select script editor. Okay. And okay, so in a new window, I'm going to go ahead and go to find dynamics.com backslash G sheets backslash IXBRL analysts dot GS. Okay, mine actually had an extra D, so it's just one D. I'm gonna go ahead and press enter again. And from the very top, I'm gonna copy and paste the entire script on this page. So control C. And then I'll go back to my product, my app script, and I'm going to paste it here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove any existing text here and paste in the new script. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and save this project. And I'm going to name it. XBRL, and then I'll click. Okay, so I'm going to close the script editor. We can close that one too. And reload and refresh my page. Okay, so now we see that the IXBRL analyst is showing up here as a tab. So Next, we're going to test my connection by typing in the following formula anywhere on the sheet. So this is going to be a minute, and I will resume once my code is inside. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added in this formula, and I'll press enter. Let's try that again. Press enter. And if my connection is good, then it should return a value which is this one right here. Therefore, um, this is Apple Inc's 2017 balance in current assets. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this formula and continue to the next step. Okay, so, okay, so we're gonna move on to part three, which is perform an analysis of the data. We're gonna begin by creating a common size income statement for one company over a three year period. In this case, we're gonna do Apple. So in my Google sheet, I'm gonna begin by entering the values for the tags. So I'll key those in and resume the video once it's complete. So now I'm gonna pretty up my data by selecting all and making sure that it's aligned to the left. There we go. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna set up our financial statement by using the following normalized tags and periods. So just to make sure and put this out there, um, we've already identified the most current year in A2 right here. 
So we say year is 2016. So we're just going to use a formula to find the three most recent years. So we're going to go ahead and start our financial statement here. We're going to leave that blank. In B6, we're going to say equals B2. In the following column, we're going to say equals this minus one. That's the previous year. And then here we're going to say equals C6 minus one, such. And now I'm going to go ahead and add in the rest of my financial statement rows. OK, so I've gone ahead and keyed in all of the elements or rows for my financial statement. So I'm just going to highlight A and double click right here just to make sure that it's expanding enough to fit all of my words here. OK, so I've gone ahead and added in my first um, formula, which is in B7. And here I'm just saying that XBRL fact, XBRL fact is pulling from the information from Apple. And we want the revenue specifically from, uh, what is this B6 placed here from the period and it's going to be divided by the scale of 1 million. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter. And once this is uh, populated my results, I'm going to go ahead and double click here and allow the rest of my data to load. Oh, looks like there's an error. Um, Okay, so mine is creating an error here because instead of saying cost revenue, it should be saying cost of revenue. Now you'll see, yeah, this, um, it, the tags need to be very um, specific because it needs to correctly match your XBRO. So I'm going to go in and edit these and I'll be back. So if you put your references correctly, um, you should be able to simply, let me try to show this correctly, drag down, and then drag over like such, and your formula, I mean your information will populate. However, um, another way to do it is just to copy and paste um, the cell into the rest of the table. So whatever works best for you. So now I'm just gonna use some formatting tools to clean up my spreadsheet. Okay, so next we're going to begin editing the dynamic data and expanding our analysis. We're going to identify trends and ratios. In order to do this, starting at step 15, we're going to go ahead and insert our formula, which is equals spark line B7, colon D7. So when you press enter, you're going to see a trend line show up. Basically, this is just saying that uh, you kind of read it left to right, sorry. So um, oh, it's trending towards the left. So I'm assuming that, you know, your, your number here is starting at 18, 182,795 increases to 23, 233,000 and it kind of sits in the middle at 21 so you can see it go from like down to up into a middle number anyway so what we're going to do is just go ahead and pull this data down so to do this i'm just going to copy it down oh, uh, sorry try that again right corner pull it down too far right there and it will do this for all of them so you'll see here when all values are zero and it stays stagnant the line does as well so now we're going to perform a vertical analysis in the columns to the right showing each value as a percentage of revenue that's okay i'm just going to go ahead and type in my formula here so b6 
equals B6 minus one. And we're gonna do G6 minus one. Oh, I forgot my little equal sign there. Right there, okay. So now that they're copied in, kind of, manually, in F7, I'm going to type equals B7 divided by B, and we want to make sure that we're focusing on the row. So the formula is here, and now I'm going to go ahead and drag the formula to fill in through H19. So now I'm going to go ahead and drag this formula down like such, and it will auto populate the rest of my, my numbers. And I'm going to go ahead and format these numbers as a percentage. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to format, number, percent. And now we see here that um, the numbers are formatted as a percentage of the total revenue. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do, um, highlight this row again, and I'm gonna drag it over so that I can complete the same pro process for years 2015 and 2014. So now that I have a common size income statement, we replace the company ticker in B1 with a company's ticker. Oh, basically, we can go ahead and replace Apple's information or Apple's name, I guess, with any other name that we need. And the same information can auto populate in our sales within these cells and within these cells. For example, here I can take out Apple and insert Microsoft's information, MSFT. And you'll see the information begins to load and we have their information. Okay, so next we're gonna go ahead and add in a sparkline here. So in order to do that, we're just going to insert sparkline. Oh, let's try this again. Insert sparkline. Um, I seven colon two well that's okay. I'm just gonna insert it to part by here. Oh, from F seven to H seven. F seven colon H seven like this. And we'll see here that it remains the same. And I'm gonna go ahead and double click. And we've added our spark lines. So once again, this is demonstrating information from Microsoft. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this information once again for Apple. Now that we have our spark line there. But yes, now this is the end of lab 8.1, which is create a horizontal and vertical analysis using XPRL data. Thanks for watching.